What do you think? Con ice in it. Well, coming soon, viewers. Coming very soon indeed. In fact, when this video is out, you can probably pick it up. So, I'll probably leave a link somewhere in the description. And there'll be a video out very soon on how you can get your hands on one of these. Very cheap as well. Less than 30 quid, I promise you that. About 25, roughly. I haven't worked out the exact price yet. But we will. By the time this video is live, we will know the price. So, there we go. Anyway, we have a player spotlight on our hands. We do, viewers. Uh, shall we take a look? Imagine if you just said no. Anyway, this is a player we are looking at today, Matthias Palacios. Now, a lot of you guys might be very familiar with Matthias. Uh, I have been very familiar with him since day one, to be honest. Uh, it's just taken me a long time to get through some of these players. I think I've tried Matthias Palacios a couple of times. But both times I was trying him, I was trying him in this cam roll. And we know now that the cam roll is kind of broken, viewers. It just doesn't work. No matter who you put in that cam roll, they just go missing. So, in this player spotlight, viewers, we're going to try him in a different position. And it works. So, there we go. That little spoiler. Anyway, little spoiler. Okay, let's, ha let's have a look at how much Matthias costs. Because you can find him in the San Lorenzo under 20s. Uh, 4.7 million they were asking for. They're 3.5 accepted you could probably even go a little bit cheaper if you wanted to but Matthias Palacios from the offset 17 years old here he has great flair and determination his physicals are very good as well and as an attacking midfielder he has the fundamental attributes it's one of my favorite phrases viewers uh, to be a very good player going forward but where have we placed him on this planet what team have we picked for him well, here we are, viewers. We are at AEK in Greece. So, quite a nice little change up of things. We haven't really been to Greece at all, to be honest. I don't think I've ever done a save in Greece. Uh, so, Matthias Palacios will find himself here. He has the potential potential attributes of going up to 170. So, that is potential range. If he reaches 170, then we are looking at one of the best players in his position. Uh, I have set him at 170, and we are going to go forward and see how he does. And we will be changing teams in a few years' time. Of course we will, viewers. But first and foremost, we're going to go forward two years, like we always have done, and see how this man performs. Now, we're at AEK. First off, I'm actually going to try him in this role, just to prove a point, really. But this is the tactic we are looking at here. Uh, it's a tactic that Ryan Cassidy created, where the Trekatista actually has done quite well. So, we'll see, really, how good he actually performs in this role, in that Trekatista role, in the future. We'll go forward two years, viewers, and see how he gets on. Well, here we have it, viewers. It is the end of the 2021 season. Two years has passed. AEK are on top. Uh, of the league, which is great to see, of course it is, but how has our man Matthias Palacios done, as you can see here, he is nowhere to be seen on the tactics, here he is, the Trekatista roll, he has scored 8 goals just this season, but that's not really, we know, we know it's kind of broken, 135 current ability is where he is currently sat, uh, so he is progressing quite nicely in his development, uh, some good attributes here in dribbling, long shots, passing technique, vision, flair and determination, some good attributes in some good places at the age of 19, just turned 19 as well, a month beforehand, uh, he is wanted which is nice to see too. The first season, he actually had a very good year, a better year than he did in his second season. He pulled off eight goals and eight assists with four player of the matches in just 28 games, a 7.21 average rating, 12 goals, 11 assists in total. A fantastic uh, season, you might say, for AEK. Uh, and the second season wasn't quite as good. Just the eight goals and six assists in total, a 7.03 average rating. But I, I, this, this guy deserves more, I think. Uh, he is wanted by Manchester City, of all clubs. So that goes to say how much uh, you can get for him because he is already valued, viewers, at 5.75 million. And that's in the Greek League, which we know the valuations don't quite match how good the players naturally are. And that's down to league reputation. It's facts, viewers. It's just how the game works. But anyway, let's go forward another year and see how his final season in AEK ends up.
And well, league form-wise, viewers, we won the league yet again, so we're happy with that, uh, to say the least. And let's see how our man has done. He has had a better season, by the looks of things, and his current ability is 144. So development-wise, quite pucker, uh, I think. Uh, let's have a look at history. So he's had the best goals tally so far this season, 11 goals in total in 36 appearances. Just the five assists, two player of the matches, 7.03. 15 goals in total across all competitions, nine assists with three player of the matches. So he's done slightly better than he has done before, uh, which is nice to see, of course it is. Competition-wise, they were knocked out of the Europa League Cup. They were knocked out of a second round by the Europa League 2 by Sevilla, which is quite unfortunate, coming up against Sevilla, which was won by Lazio. So that is actually quite a difficult uh, league to win. If Lazio and Sevilla are in it, a club like AEK are going to struggle, to say the least. The Cup, though. Have they won the Cup? They won the Cup two out of the three years, so that's good as well. Happy days with that. Uh, the league... We didn't see if they won it the first year. They didn't. Olympiacos took the trophy the first year. So two trophies in the league, two trophies in the cup. I think that's quite a success in three seasons. Former Ties Palacios. Where is he headed now? Where in Europe am I going to put him? Well, viewers, we have landed in Atalanta in Italy. One of my favourite Italian signs. I just like what they stand for. I like their club colours as well. Hence why mine matches. Now, Matthias Palacios is here and unfortunately, because of the stupid Italian rules of non-EU players, which I don't know how to how to set it up. I really don't. I signed this man right at the start of pre-season and we still couldn't actually loan him, uh, uh, load him as our player. I don't get why it does it. I really don't. And it's quite frustrating, to be honest, that non-EU rule. And I know a few people have struggled with that non-EU rule in the past. If anyone has some kind of like definitive answer... Please let me know. But it was quite nice in a way because we 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 signed him for 11 million from Atalanta. Uh, I I started doing the the uh, the simulation, and then halfway through I thought that non EU thing that could cause a problem here, Luke. So I stopped the simulation around about Christmas, and I seen that he hasn't even been playing any games. So he's kind of stunted his growth. So I offered him out on loan, and San Lorenzo, his original club, came in for him. And so far, he's played 18 games. He's got two goals, four assists, two player of the matches, a 7.12 average rated. But don't worry, viewers, he arrives back in Italy and we do finally play some games for Atalanta. But we'll go forward another year and have a look. And here we are at the end of the fifth season. Uh, a bad league form for Atalanta, but it is a very difficult league, I must say. Ninth place, but we do have this qualification. And that is because they won the Euro Cup too. Great stuff. Now, did our man play a part? Of course he did. Here he is. Yet again, we have been playing him in the camera roll. I did this a long time ago. I can't quite remember whether I actually put him in different roles now. I hope so. But it does look like he's actually been playing left back as a makeshift left back and a makeshift right mid. Uh, so he's been filling in in different places. Not to my knowledge. So I don't kn quite know what's going on there. But if we have a look at this, 144 current ability. He's had his growth stunted because of that half a season where he wasn't playing. And that has annoyed me very slightly because he is now 22 years of age. He should be coming into his prime. He should be getting closer and closer to that 170 mark. And we're not seeing it quite yet. The midfield orchestrated by the media, 27 million, so his value is a lot better, viewers. So even at 144 current ability, he has good value. This season, he played every single game and he scored nine goals and he got four assists with three player matches. Now, considering we are playing him in that cam role yet again, I think that's quite a nice little return there. 12 goals in total, 13 assists. Very nice across the continental competitions. And that continental competition was won. We played in the Euro Cup 2 and we won that competition on penalties against RZ in the final. Good stuff. We cannot see his name anywhere here, but he played a part in it, viewers. That is the main thing. Uh, Atalanta, the third winners of that trophy. Knocked out of the cup by the semi-finals uh, by the winners, Roma. So, I don't think that's too bad. But what's happened here, Luke? At the end of the sixth season... It is a sixth season. We're at AC Milan. And why is that? Well, I decided, viewers, that we needed to change something with Matthias Palacios. We needed to get him out of Atalanta. He's had a bad experience there. Yes, he won a European trophy. But the first season, we couldn't register him. The second season, we still played him in the cam role, which doesn't really suit this match engine. 
So the third season in Italy, we moved him yet again to AC Milan. And I think this was a fantastic decision because as we can see, AC Milan won the league. 81 points to Juve's 80. And they do have a very established side. I will say that uh, we signed this guy for instance, who is unbelievable. And I know a few of you guys are going to go, what? How good is that guy? I know, right? Aston Villa, 80 million we spent for him. Worth it. 37 goals in total. But we're not here to look at Taylor Slotmaker. Oh, no, we're not. We're here to look at Matthias Palacios. So shall we? And here is Matthias Palacios now at a current ability of 158. That is what happens when you start playing in a better side with better success. We are already matching the same amount of games as what he's played in Atalanta in the two years because of that, that stupid rule. Uh, but we're up to 158 current ability. He is now valued at £49.5 million. So that's... I mean, we bought him for 3.5 to begin with, if you remember rightly. So if you did buy this player for 3.5 million pound and you got a player who managed to reach 158, you played him in a decent league, 49 million pound is a big, big profit. If someone wants to come in for him for that, then fair enough, they're going to have to spend a lot of money. We actually bought him from Atalanta for 33 million, so I was kind of fair still to Atalanta. I gave them their money's worth. They trebled their money in total and they only used him once. In what, what, one season, anyway. Uh, five goals, seven assists, three player of the matches, a 7.16 average range. So not quite as good in the goals tally as last season, but he's playing a deeper role now, and he's found himself some more assists, but he's actually played better across the season. So I will show you the tactic I'm using, and you're going to see some of the players that I've decided to play. We have Tenali here, some great defenders as well, Ansu Fati and Slotomaker is available, and we are playing this structure, which I do rather enjoy. This is my uh, World Rotter Domination tactic, and I thought this would be perfect for Matthias. He gets to play Mazala on attack, a very good position. Uh, he has a reasonable left foot, so it suits him playing there because he can cut inside on his right if he wants to because he has that long shot, so he can bang them if he really wants to. But also, he can use his left foot, so if he finds himself running down the left-hand side, he's good enough to do that. And I think his attributes speak for themselves on how good a player this actually is. We do have one more season. Let's see, because I think so far, you can, you can, get, you can get my gist that this player is a very handy player to have for the price that you are willing to pay. Uh, remember as well, because of the potential ability and a lot of his attributes are not full, uh, you will get players, you will get a Matthias Palacios every now and then who has better finishing or you will get a bet uh, better attributes in the physicals. That's just how the potential range works. Uh, in my situation, of course, we benefited because we have good passing, long shots, fast touch and dribbling. The finishing we don't really need it to be that high. Yes, it's nice, but I would prefer it spread across different places, which is what we have. The mental attributes are great, and I'm really happy with that. But viewers, you might have seen it already. Before we go to that last season, we did something very good. And although Hoffenheim somehow managed to top the group with Tottenham, Milan, and Ajax, we went into the Europa League and we won the bloody thing. So that is quite nice. We actually won the treble because we also won the Italian Cup. And the Super Cup, if you count in that. So Milan has had a very successful season. A treble. you got to be happy with that. Matthias Palacios played a massive part in that. I think he actually played the most games in total. Uh, he did or he didn't? Did he or did he not? He played 58, one less than, than Donnarumma, the goalkeeper. So you've got to be happy with that. Uh, Matthias Palacios, how has he done in his final season? I'm excited to see. I already know, but I'm still excited. And here we go, viewers. The final season is here. And look, yes, once again, we won the league title very comfortably by six points from Roma. We also won the cup, viewers, against Fiorentina. We lost in the Super Cup to PSG. And we lost in the first round knockout of the Champions League to Real Madrid. We pulled a very difficult draw there. But look at this. The most assist this season was from our man, Matthias Palacios. From the same role, I kept him in the same role as we did uh, the season before. And now he has a current ability of 162. So we are very happy with that, I must say. Uh, I have found another way, viewers, that I'm actually going to try and do a player spotlight in the future. One, to make it much more quicker for me, but two, to make it more accurate and spread across more leagues. So I think you'll be really happy with this because... I'm actually I'm annoyed that I haven't thought of it before. But it's going to work really nicely, and you'll see that. Because lately, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's been a latest update, but I cannot get these players to their full potential anymore. 
I cannot. Whether it's their ambition and professionalism, which of course is left random, uh, that's just how it's been working out recently. For some reason, when I first started doing this, they were getting to their maximum potential really quickly, like within three seasons. Now I'm getting like seven seasons in the future and we're still eight away. And he's in his prime now, 24 years of age. Look, by the way, at his value, 64 million pound. That is unbelievable. The history though, his best season yet. His best season yet. Only playing 36 games. He scored 12 goals. He got 10 assists. He got four player of the matches and 7.25 average rating. That is so good. That is very good indeed. I'm actually curious uh, where he stands in the, uh, in the in the actual competition of the Serie A. He is there, viewers. 10 assists. He is third. So we've got to be happy with that. I'm really happy with that, to be honest, because I think as a, as players, Gil Matthias Palacios is one of my favourite. Re- is one of my favourite wonder kids from this season, and one of the one of the wonder kids I've never actually used. So I think he is my favourite one that I haven't used because I've seen him in other saves. How good he can possibly be if. People of the uh, the Youth to Gold series who love the Youth to Gold series will know I banged on about this guy before because he went to Monaco when I was at Strasbourg and he ripped the league apart. He was very good and we struggled against him a few times. So I've been very aware and so have you guys. But look at his, at his mental attributes, how good they are. His physical attributes are just good enough for a centre midfielder. You don't need the pace. He has it, but you don't necessarily need it. It's still very good. But the technical attributes as well will get him past in all of these positions. Whether you want to play him out on the wing, you could try him out there if you really like. Or in that centre midfield role or in the cam if you've managed to find a tactic where the cam role works. Which, by the way, pass it on. But still, I think this is an exceptionally good player. And after seven seasons, he's valued at £64 million. That is so good. That's like 20 times the amount that you've actually paid for him to begin with. And yes, viewers, that is such quick maths. And I've got to check that while I'm editing it to make sure it's okay. But if it is okay, then it's left in, isn't it? So there we go. Anyway, viewers, that's the end of this video. So remember, viewers, if you want to get your hands on one of these snazzy Omega Luke shirts, I think uh, you might like it. But like just like myself, Victory Kits from FM Works is the guy. You all know FM Works. He's the guy who's been creating my kits on my series for a long time. Uh, he has, I very kindly teamed up with him. So you'll see a video coming out very soon about that with the with the links and everything to order them. Like I say, it's gonna be costing about 20 pound per shirt plus postage and packaging. So depends on where, we, where you are in the world. Uh, I think it's like the lowest it can be is like 23 pound. Um, don't quote me on that, but it's roughly that. So that, for, a, for an Omega Luke shirt, I, I, this is not me like wanting to do this either. This was you guys. This is on you. A lot of people in the live streams requested this, uh, and I put it to a vote on Discord, and a lot of people wanted it. So I'm not really looking to make a profit from it, to be honest. I get one shirt out of it, so that's quite nice, and you guys get to enjoy it too. So I'm not looking for a profit. I just want you guys to get what you want. You want an Omega Luke shirt. We got it designed. You enjoyed it. FM Works designed it himself, which is also quite nice. He, he, he designed it. You enjoyed it. There we go. Anyway, viewers, if you can drop a like on the video, that would be absolutely fantastic. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And next week, we have a very special brand new series coming out to the channel. I really hope you enjoy it. I really hope people jump on board with this idea because, to be honest, this is what I have planned going in the future. Instead of going through the long saves like the Werros Domination, like Conquering Scandinavia, this is my idea of... Uh, I don't know how to put it, really, uh, of trying to involve more people more often rather than going for the long-term saves. So look out for that video. That should be out on Tuesday. And guys, have a cracking weekend. Enjoy the football being back and be nice to each other. For Christ's sake, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, remember to smash that like button. Hit the Patreon page if you want some early access to some videos or to sponsor a player. And here is a video that I think you might like.